Speak corporate. Woo. I'm Dale Brisby. Shut up, catfish! Welcome to Radiator Ranch. This is like, shut up, catfish! I'm trying to film. Today we're gonna to show you around the ranch. We were right in the middle of it. This is the feed buggy. You ready? Time to feed, you bet. Against popular belief, this is not an airport. It is, in fact, the Radiator Ranch feed room. And uh, thank you, Leroy. You Keep bet. it going. It's where we get every morning started. You know, we gotta. We're feeding stock around the clock, so we come in here, grab a few bags, and get going. Whoops! You can go back and pick those up, can't you? Like they're all here. This right here is a Winnebago Bucker. That is Total Feeds Juicy Brisket. And this right here is a bucking horse just got back from the NFR. No, I'm just kidding, that's a cult. But that one over there, that's a Baptist, and he has been to the NFR. He's the meanest of all of them. It's kind of a jerk. Then you got Dale Brisby, AKA Trimble, AKA the Spirit of Grey, AKA George Foreman, AKA. Blue Boy. Uh, yeah, Blue Boy. He's a tank. That is the toughest, strongest, ranchinest. Don't well, let his size fool you. He can pull a house down. Boone here, 20 years old this April. He's a 2000 model. He's the ranchiest. Done the most, you can pick up on him, do everything. Dollar was my kid horse back in the day, he's crippled. And this is Badger. You see me do some ranching on Boone. We ain't in the wilds of Montana, we're in the wilds of Radiator Ranch. And uh, speaking of wild, these bulls are being a little bit uh, argumentative. Baxter doesn't really get along with New Mexico Bad Boy. They've been fighting a lot lately. So when it comes time to feed, um, it takes them a little minute to get in there. He's running behind you. And then we got Blue Jeans, AKA 511, who uh, likes to rip up the intern's Blue Jeans, who is uh, always the last one in. Probably because he's the fan favorite, bull rider favorite. I like him. But yeah, right out here, this is the main pasture, our bull pasture, and then our saddle saddle ponies, and a uh, little overgrazed right now, but that's just the nature of the beast whenever you got that that uh, that lot up by the house. Pray for some rain, old son. I've been gone for about 10 days, so looks like there's a few blades of grass poking up on the beach. We might need to talk to the interns about getting this bad boy drug, or Leroy. Why don't you talk to them about carrying your feed for you? Cause I got you here to do that. Oh, it's like that. My shoulder is sore. Oh, okay. The beaches. We've bucked a lot of stock out here. We've had uh, world champion Jacobs Crawley. We've had uh, the greatest of all time, Dale Brisby. We've had a lot of interns. World champion J.B. Mooney. Uh, Trayson, Dean Wadsworth. Randy Kateri. Leroy Gibbons. So, I mean, this is a, this is a star-studded cast of rough stock riders that have been through the beaches of Winnebago, and you get to experience it right here on this channel. You're welcome, Winnebago. Kitty, Kiki, Kiki. As Mr. Brisby tries to lure in the ranch kitty, she's weary, but yet somewhat accepting. Mm, hello, human. This is the boss of the ranch right here. She's, we're like best friends. She trusts me. I got you. I got you. It's a ranch kitty. You can't hear it, but I can. She's purring. 
She likes me. She's getting big. Yep, somebody left her at the lumber yard when she was a kitten. We've been best friends ever since. Ah, gosh. <laughs> The tack room is a disaster. Yeah, so this is Dale Brisby's tack room. A little messy right now. Um, when we're not, uh, when I'm not bullback, I'm horseback. And so come in here and get the tack we need to do the job that we were meant to do. And that's ranch, old son. So multiple saddles to choose from. I got the cactus saddle there. This one Leroy made, it's the first saddle he ever made. Um, that one is uh, got the sea rigging in it, really comfortable. So, 24 bits for three horses. Otherwise, you ain't no cowboy, old son. That's how that works. Killed this hog with my bare hands, not even a knife. I uh, dogged that muley off of uh, Boone. And um, if you don't believe me, Google it. So, every rope in here tells a story. You know what I'm saying? Every rope tells a story. These are Boone's shoes on the far left. He's not a, a double lot. He's actually a size 14D. Um, game changer, cactus rope. I've, this is uh, one of my calf dragon. Bring them to the fire ropes, a little bit shorter. Uh, so you Utah and Buckaroo boys up north with the 60 footers are uh, making fun of me. I don't care. Um, just your basic run-of-the-mill greatest of all time Dale Brisby's tack room. That's all that is, old son. So you're welcome. Uh, I'd love for you guys to uh, come take a tour in person, but I'm afraid you couldn't afford the ticket. Let's go look at the first gym. Yep. Phone slap. Oh. Yep, says the tickets are only $10. This right here, my friends, may be the most famous piece of machinery on the ranch. Uh, this is the first gen, the 12 valve, the square nose, the bulldog, old son. Starts up every time, all the time. Um, look, we gotta wait to start. I ain't started this in a month. I did not think it was gonna start. It just fired right up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've got to drive it. It'll, it's aired up enough, Leroy. Right up. For you. Woo! Starts up every time, guys. I told you, just like I told you. Come on to the next one. Driving it around with a flat tire. He wonders why we can't have nice things. He's just, he's riding on the rim. Yes, to answer your question. I forgot how to turn it off for a second. Can't use the key. To answer your question, yes, he is still for sale. The price has been, um, has gone up from 24,000 to 28,000 is the new price on the 12 valve. For sale, not on sale, old son. Air up the tire your darn self, all right? Because it's too cheap. You know, he gave me this truck once. He did? He really did, he gave it to me when I was in high school. I gave you what? You gave me this truck in high school. I, I did not give him this truck. I've given you a lot of things. I've given you that cap. I gave you, you didn't that. Give me this. I, I gave him Blue this. Boy. I gave him Blue Boy. I gave him a horse. It I did my horse not first. Give you. It was his horse. He sold it to TJ. Uncle Tej gave it back to me because my horse died. Then I gave it to him. Then you gave it back to me. Yeah, because. That's Blue Boy. See, I know the details of it. This truck, though, has never left my pos possession. He thinks these random things, like he'll come into my room, those are my socks. No, those aren't your socks. I paid $6.99 at Walmart. These are not socks. your socks. Those are my socks. I got my, I got my socks. I got my socks. I don't even on. understand what you're saying. Sounds like you're mumbling. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Rodeo Time. We showed you around. 
Radiator Ranch, you've gotten a little bit more insight of what it's like to uh, just be in the presence of Dale Brisby. We ain't charging enough. So this is part of it, and uh, we've still got more to show you. Rodeo Blues, the bunkhouse where the interns stay, West Camp, Guacamole Camp. Speaking of interns, do we need to tell them about the uh, Dale Brisby Top Intern Challenge? Yep. It's coming up. We're going to talk more about it in next week's video, the Dale Brisby Top Intern Challenge, um, which starts off as an internship, but like these last two interns, it could lead to a job where you do, in fact, live and work with the great sport rider of all time. We ain't talking J.B. Mooney. A Dale Brisby, old son. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell or whatever that means, and uh, tell us what you thought about the place. I'm Dale Brisby, and I'm on for the next one. So you're done talking? Shut up. Sweet. Can we eat now? Jeez. <laughs> hey, I got it. I got it. They shouldn't have gave him that. He's gonna hurt himself. <laughs>